Good morning. This is Debbie with the Food Prepping Channel. And this morning I am getting ready to fix a dish in my crock pot. Um, I've got two more days before I'm going back on to keto. So I'm trying to get... <laughs> I'm gonna miss I'm gonna miss eating regular food and I know it and um, so I'm going to fix a dish in my crock pot this morning with pork chops and the first thing that I'm going to put in here is I've got a pint of mushrooms that I canned last year the video should be on my channel somewhere this was really easy to do I got a great sale on mushrooms and so I canned these with um I can't remember now what I used but anyway this pint of, of mushrooms is going in here all right and then I've got two cans of just great value cream of mushroom soup. You can't have that on keto. So I saw this recipe the other day somewhere. I forgot where I saw it at. And I said, wow, I'm going to try this. I think it was on Facebook because a lot of my recipes come up on the the ads or whatever on Facebook a lot of the ones that I want to use which now it's um, with me going back on keto I'm not going to be able to do a lot of them anymore alright so I've got one can here's my second can of cream of mushroom soup I'm putting this in here And I got a pack of center cut pork chops um, at Walmart with the bone in. I just think that the bone makes these pork chops a lot better, taste better. So I always try to get the ones with the bones bone in. All right, and next I'm going to put in a uh, Probably about, well, if I can get it open, two tablespoons of this um, Hidden Valley Ranch seasoning and salad dressing mix. And I opened the wrong side. All right, so I'm just going to pour about two tablespoons in there. And then I'm going to put in a half a stick of butter. in there which I should have cut this before I started the video but as usual I didn't all right now let me stir this all up and get this mixed up Oh, it smells so good. All right, and then here's my pork chops. I'm gonna put these in. It's six of them, which is exactly what I needed. All right, and now I forgot to plug my crock pot in, so I'll bring you right back. Okay, I'm back. All right, so I got the crock pot on. I've got it set for high for six hours I um, got the pork chops covered as much as I could with the 
um, soup and all. And of course, you could have, have browned your pork chops before you put them in the crock pot, but I don't ever do that with pork chops because I don't think, I mean, I like them fried, but I really don't see any difference in them unless they are fried when you bake them or put them in the crock pot or whatever. So, like I said, this is in here now for six hours on high, and I might, after two hours, cut it down to, um, four or five hours on low and just let it finish cooking until tonight and i'll bring you back when these get done